Hi guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Linda. If you're new here, Karibu Sana. If you're a returning subscriber, thank you so much for clicking once again. I'm so sorry, guys. Disclaimer by the way, this video is going to be weird, awkward, I'm going to make stops here and there because what we make a they just want to be held. And anyway, the reason why I'm recording today's video. Is because I wanted to let you in guys on my bath story basically I'm just going to do a bath vlog story um, shame on me I'm very much ashamed because we are now heading to seven weeks and it's only when I'm doing that the video you know I've been let me say I've been busy I've been trying to adjust it's hard for me to adjust my life now with a newborn uh, compared to when I was still not having a baby it's quite difficult to adjust but I'm slowly adjusting so anyway um, I just want to take you guys through just quickly take you through that day uh, when the baby got here so let's get the story started so before you continue um, the reason I'm holding this camera in my hand is because I can't set it up I'm trying to what is it called um, multitask understand to just more level because well, my baby doesn't want to be put down she just wants to be held today I don't know what's up but anyway that aside the real thing that we were supposed to do today so um by the way before we even start this whole story i'm glad to announce that we were blessed with a baby girl and she's very very beautiful uh, i won't reveal the name right now because uh, not now later maybe oh my god she's so cute <laughs> so anyway um i'm gonna start two days before her bath because she was born on uh, January 11th 2022 and uh, this whole thing started on 9th if I may say um, there's a friend of mine who talked to my mom because I had already gone past my due date I had not experienced started experiencing any labor pains or anything so I was past my due date and nothing was happening so I was uh, just started doing some exercises yeah and there I'll insert a few clips of me doing the exercises I was looking nasty do not don't mind me I was just not having it I was not I was not dolled up at all I was just looking like some homeless chick but that is what pregnancy did to me anyway so that friend of mine called my mom and told her to give me some pineapples uh it is believed that pineapples induced induced labor they can be used to induce labor and they didn't believe that but then on that day my mom went ahead and bought a pineapple she brought it home we uh, took some of it and believe you me i don't know if it's if it's the pineapple or it, it was just time for me to go into labor but the next morning at around 6 30 in the morning i started experiencing mild cramps and at first i didn't really give it much thought because i was like uh no pineapples are just fruits and uh, yeah it's a it's a myth or something i ignored the pain so on the same day we're actually going to the hospital we're supposed to check on some things before you know getting admitted so we had gone in the morning at around 10 and then we came back at around 12 p.m sorry let me take care of this first so we came back home at around 12 midday and uh, my mom had gone out to go look for lunch so i then started feeling like the cramps were getting stronger and stronger and they were coming like um about 30 minutes to 45 minutes apart and I didn't I still didn't give it much thought but when they started getting stronger um, I couldn't I couldn't hide it hide it anymore so my mom came and she was told that I was trying to you know I was trying to hide the fact that I was in labor 
and being my mom being my mom she immediately looked for a taxi she called a taxi and i was taken to the hospital in the afternoon so that was on 10th january so on the way to the hospital i got another um, let me say contraction because i think because i think this was now this was now the real thing i was actually in active labor so um my mom called the taxi we went in the afternoon to, to the hospital so we got to the hospital at around 4 p.m i think 4 p.m and then at 4 30 they had to do a vaginal examination uh, commonly known as ve where they put they insert two or three fingers inside you to check on how much you have dilated but let me tell you guys ve is the worst it is painful and it's uncomfortable so after they did that first ve they told me that i had dilated only three centimeters and they told me i had to do i had to get another ve at around after four hours so that means I was, that meant i was supposed to have another one at around 8 pm so that means i had to be admitted i was admitted i was actually scared you know when people say um when people are at nine months pregnant or 40 weeks or whatever and they're like oh i'm so tired i want i just want this baby out let me tell you guys when when it's actually time for you to get that baby out you start panicking and you start getting nervous and you're like no i want to go back a little bit so that was me uh, when they told me i was three centimeters i just was like ah, let me go back and you know just wait for my dilation to get maybe to seven centimeters then i can come back but i was told no this is a public hospital you have to get admitted and so i was admitted into the hospital uh, my mom came back home to pick a few things for me and uh, for the baby baby why do you want to cry now what's up this is what i have to deal with every day what's up mama what's up now she's laughing so my mom came back home to pick a few things for me and the baby and uh, she later on came back um to stay with me until it was time for me to deliver because she and actually she had to stay with me overnight so um she, when she, by the time she was coming back it was around 9 pm because she had to come home and make some supper for her and my small brother because my small my small brother uh he cannot stay at home alone so mom had to come home but then he she had to uh, give a call to one of our, fr our one of our neighbors to come and sit with uh, to sleep over at our place because long story short my brother cannot stay at home alone so my mom came back to the hospital it was, it was around 9 p.m. and my contractions were now four to five centimeters apart so every time I would get a contraction we would walk and I would rub my belly and breathe in heavily but then it came to a point where my mom told me we had to go outside and by the way I hadn't given you an update at they did for they did another VE for me at 8 p.m. and I was told that I was still at three centimeters so I felt like there was no hope for me and actually there's a doctor who came there's a nurse who came and told me that I didn't look like I was in labor because I wasn't acting crazy like I'm not saying it's bad to let out your emotions but I wasn't acting crazy like the other females well most of you know how how public uh, you know how labor wards in public hospitals are people are crazy there are people like so that, that nurse came and looked at me and told me I don't think you're in labor so in the morning I'll have to book you for CS and I was like, I was asking him, so if I'm in labor, does it mean that I have to scream for you to know that I'm in labor? And he was like, no, but I, I just don't think you're in labor. I'll come back in the morning and book you for CS. And I was like, okay, I'll see you in the morning. So, fast forward to when my mom came back to the hospital from home. Um, when she came back, I informed her that I had uh, dilated to, I was still at three centimeters dilation and uh, she was like we need to start walking because you're not dilating fast enough so we went out we went outside the ward we were walking we were just making walks um within the hospital climbing stairs you know just normal exercises that pregnant women who are in labor do so 
when we got when I got uh, extremely tired, we would go back to the um ward so that I could lay down for a bit. So I kept doing that for about two hours, and then when it came to around around two thirty. She's waking up. So as time went by, I was getting these really, really, really strong contractions, and I decided not to go outside anymore. So I was just laying in bed. My mom was laying next to me, and then I suddenly felt this very sharp pain, and my water just broke. So immediately it broke. I told my mom, "Mom, my water is broke." My water is broke. <laughs> my water has broken. Oh my god! Wow! So, she quickly told me to get up and uh, we went to inform the nurse that my water had broken. So, immediately, my, my the nurse told me to go and wait in the labor ward, in the you know delivery room, just in case it was about it was time to push. So, I went there. Um, and you guys after the water broke these contractions the contractions were now really unbearable they were just uncontrollable i was just i had it i was not ready for it i was not prepared for this kind of pain so the nurses told me the nurses who were, who were there to deliver me told me um to climb on one of the beds there were three beds there so i was told to climb on one of them and lay on my left side so what they told me is uh after i lay on my on my left side the pains are the contractions are going to come if i feel the urge to poop then i should turn and lay on my back and hold my legs apart with both my hands and focus on my belly button so every time uh, I felt the urge to poop. I would do that, but you guys, the pain was extremely unbearable that I had to climb out of, uh, to climb off the bed, and so I started walking within the um, the delivery room. I was just walking around, and I was just being crazy. And um, when I got to the third bed, I could not move. And that is when I realized that perhaps it was time for me to push. So I don't know how I did, how I got on the onto that bed, but I climbed it somehow. And before you, before I knew it, we were already pushing. The baby's head was the, uh, already showing, and then I was told to keep on pushing. And they were doing this. Uh, you guys, the way they were, they were trying to expand the the. The path where the baby was going to come out uh, to come out through, it was really painful. They were trying to stretch my, you know, vaginal wall so that I don't know what they were trying to stretch, but it was really painful. And um, the moment my the baby's head got out, I got a, a bit of relief. But then I realized that it was now time to push out the shoulders and the rest of the body. So I had to put in the work again the energy and everything and i with one with the second push i pushed out the baby completely and immediately she came out she started crying and i was just so happy i was asked they held the baby up on my face and uh they told me to check uh on the gender and i confirmed it was a girl then they put the baby on my chest so that they could tie the umbilical cord and, and cut it and blah 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 and after they cut the, because I was still, I was actually, I felt like I was going to faint. I had not eaten anything on that day. I had just taken a bit of a Coke, Coca-Cola, and I had also taken a bit of glucose, but I didn't eat anything, so I didn't have the energy. So after the baby came out, I was just feeling very weak. And after they cut the umbilical cord, I just lay there. I think I was so torn like i i think it took about an hour to you know stitch me up because i was laying there for quite a while so they injected me some some medications so that i don't feel pain when they were stitching me up so i think it took about an hour 
after that after i was stitched up i immediately climbed off the bed and i told them i want to see my baby after seeing the baby i took a shower and went ahead to breastfeed but you guys my my milk did not come on the first day so i was trying to breastfeed and the nurses just encouraged me it's normal sometimes you know you can go even up to three days without the milk coming out so i was just told to keep on putting the baby on the breast so that she can start suckling you know suckling actually is the one that brings along the milk if if at all you've given birth and the milk is not coming out immediately so suckling helps really with the uh, breast milk so after i was you know trying to breastfeed i was taken to the um, to the now disc, uh, recovery ward and uh, i stayed there for some time they came and you know discharged discharged me by around 11 by, by around 11 a.m i was already heading home and let me just tell you let me just say on the first day it was really hectic for me because i couldn't walk properly and then i was also stressed because the baby was not getting milk he, she was suckling but there was nothing coming out so i was really really stressed but then my mom told me to just keep on putting the baby on the breast to keep on uh ensuring she circles as much as she can so that the milk can come quicker and so i did that and believe you me in the by the next day the next morning the milk had already started flowing and i was so happy And that is basically it for this video today i know i need to start doing better videos because it's been such a long while that i'm i'm beginning to forget how long my videos used to be i need to start doing better i know but um that is it for this video i'm planning on doing another video i'm actually doing another video immediately after this one uh but it will come it will be up maybe later on for now this is the only video i'm posting today and um expect more from me now i've found a way to you know you guys i've been having challenges i lost my camera my the phone that i was using to record with so this is my usual phone that i use on a daily basis but now it doesn't have better quality of camera of a camera so um, we just have to make do but now i'm making a comeback but this time i promise i'll try as much as i can to stay you know to do videos more often um yeah so if you're new here don't forget to subscribe turn that post notification on so that anytime i upload a video you'll be the first person to be notified also like share comment and share 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 with your friends share with your friends so that um they may also benefit from this or they may be entertained you never know uh, anyway i'll see you guys in my next video bye guys